सुभद्रा दीदी सुभद्रा दीदी सुभद्रा एंड दीदी द आरी प्रेजेंटेशन या सो ओनली सुभद्रा इज गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट गिरिधर इज नॉट गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ओके वेयर इज सुभद्रा सुभद्रा आर यू देयर वी वुड ऑल लाइक टू सी यू दम तो सदा हरे कृष्णा सुभद्रा ओके ओके बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंटेशन लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट सुभद्रा यू नो हाउ ओल्ड शी इज हु वांट्स टू गेस सेवन सेवन एट एट इयर्स ओल्ड एट यस शी इज एट इयर्स ओल्ड एंड शी लिव्स इन न्यू ऑरलियंस एंड हर पेरेंट्स आर gurudas and sunanda devi dasi okay and uh, they are disciples of his holiness bhakti pramath puri maharaj and his holiness bhakti sar sarvaswa govind maharaj and you know she learns classical dance bharatnatyam she even learns classical music and she likes to draw which you all know Shubhadra and Giridhari they are both very good at drawing and she loves to read bhagavatam krishna stories and she loves to sing vaishnava songs and bhajans i think she plays harmonium do you play harmonium shubhadra yes mati ji yes she also plays harmonium and she loves to you know help her mother in cooking and she loves to dress the deities right am i not am i correct or am i wrong i think you love to dress the deities i think you have said that before yeah and she also attends govinda class and damodar class very regularly and i think she was do you still attend the, the saturday class yes yeah she has been attending all the classes so sincerely and regularly and she uh, knows all the shlokas very nicely she recites them very beautifully and she is and she really wants to thank all the matajis you know for teaching her for giving her the love and the blessings now today we are going to hear from shubhadra and we are all excited isn't it yes is everybody excited yes ma'am matajis i am excited yes mataji yes mataji Yes, Mataji. Okay. Mataji, should I remove the? I don't know. What, Mataji? You want me to remove your uh, spotlight? Not me, Mataji. But the, I can only see her the small screen. I don't know. I cannot see the other kids. Okay. Mataji, know. because I uh, because this because this um screen shared. Oh, okay. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट द श्री गुरु प्रणाम मंत्र ओम ज्ञान तिमिदंदस्य ज्ञानं जलाशलाकय चक्षुरं मिलितं येन तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोविष्टं स्थावितं येन भूतले स्वयं कदा ददाति स्वादाकम वंदे अहम श्री गुरु श्रीतपकमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवा श्री रूप सागर जाता सगन रघुनाथ हंस जीव सावैत सवदूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदा सगन लिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्ण कर्ण सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कंत राधक नमस्कृत तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषवाणु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय 
नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदंत स्वामीनीति नाम नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाने प्रचारिणे देवशेष शून्यवादी पश्चादेश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभ निनंद श्री अद्विता गदाधार श्रीवासादे गौर भक्त विंदा Now I'll start. Now I'll start the story of whom Bhishma was in his past life. Bhishma is one of the central characters of the Mahabharata. Bhishma was born as Devavrata, and he is the grandsire of Mahabharat. He was a great, great, great devotee of Lord Krishna, and he used to serve Krishna all the time. Once. The eight Vashis visited Vashishta Muni's ashram with their wives. One of the wives took a cow Nandini because she gave nectar milk. So she asked her husband Prabhash to steal it from Vashishta Muni. Prabhash, the Vashu, stole stole the cow Nandini with, with the help of the other Vashis. When Vashishta Muni came back, he didn't see Nandini anywhere, and then he understood everything what had happened. Then he cursed them to be born in the world of men. After hearing the curse, they understood their mistakes and came to Muni for forgiveness. Then Muni said, "The seven Vashus who assist in stealing Nandini have their curse softened to be liberated." From their human birth, as soon as they are born, but Prabash, due to his being being instrumental in the thief, is cursed to endure longer life on the earth. Bhishma Dev was the eighth Vashu, as known as Prabash in his past life. His father's name was Maharaj Shantanu. And his mother's name was Ganga, the holy river. The other seven, the other seven babies were born as the older siblings of Bhishma, who were drowned by their mother Ganga as soon as they were born, thus fulfilling the softening curse on them. He couldn't liberate due to Muni's curse, and his mother took. And his mother took him and told his father. And then she said, "I'm taking him now, but I'll return him when he grows up." Bishma learned political science from Brihaspati, Devas, Vedas, and Vedangas from Rishi Vishista. He learned archery from Parshurama. Also known as Bhargo, thus becoming an expeditionally skilled administrator as well as an undefeatable warrior. His banner in battle was a golden palm tree. He was known as Bhishma Pitamaha, the grandfather or grandsire among amongst the Pandavas and the Kauravas. Bhishma means he of the terrible oath. Referring his vow of life, long celibacy, Devavrata became known as Bhishma because he took the Bishan Pratigya, the vow of lifelong celibacy, and of service to whoever sat on the throne of his father, the throne of Hastinapur. This was because when his father Shantanu wanted to marry a fisherwoman Satyavati, but her father refused on the grounds that. That his daughter's children would never be rulers, as Shantanu already had a son, Devavrata. This made Shantanu disappointed. Satyavati's father also retorted that even if Devavrata gave up his claim to the throne, his Devavrata's children would still claim the throne. At this, Devavrata, to make his father happy, took the terrible vow. Thus, sacrificing his crown prince title and denying himself to marry in his lifetime, this gave him immediate recognition among the gods and his father. And his father granted him the boon of Ichamritu, control over his own death. 
he could choose the time of his own death. In the process of finding, a long time ago, in process of finding a bride for the young king Vichitravirya, son of Shantanu and Shatyavati, for whom he was the regent. Bhishma challenged the assemblage of, of the suitors at the Swayamvar of princesses Amba, Amlika and Ambalika of Kashi, Varanashi, and defeated all the kings. Amba wanted to marry Shalwa, but he refused her. Then she came back to Bhishma to marry her. Because of his vow, he couldn't marry her. Then Amba went to Parshurama to tell him everything, the guru of Bhishma. Parshurama ordered Bhishma to marry Amba. Bhishma politely refused, saying that he's ready to leave his life at the command upon the teacher, but not the promise that he had made. Upon the refusal, Parshurama called him for a fight at Kurukshetra. They fought for 23 days without any result. Then Bhishma, in respect of his teacher, and walked away from the combat and allowed a graceful exit for Parshurama. When the, when the war had begun between the Korvas and the Pandavas in the great battlefield at Kurukshetra, Bhishma, bound by his oath to serve the ruler of Hastinapur, uh, fought very reckonedly on the side of the Kauravas, and he gave it his best effort. At one stage, his incapable military prowess combined with Arjuna's dissimulation to fight him almost made Lord Krishna break his vow of not actually fighting in the war. Krishna charged at Bhishma to kill him with a chariot wheel and was welcomed with folded hands by the grandsire. Then Arjuna pleaded with Krishna to stop and reminded him of the vow. Bhishma was finally grievously wounded on the 10th day of the battlefield by Arjuna who hid behind another warrior, Shikhandi, and rained arrows on the grandsire. Shikhandi was Amba in her previous life because, because, because Amba, she prayed to Lord Shiva and pleased Shiva so that, so that she, she got the boon that she will be instrumental for the death of Bhishma. Bhishma fell his entire body resting on a punctuation of Arjuna's arrows. Also, he drank Ganga water by Arjun's arrow. He laid on the bed of arrows till the end of the battle and chose to die only after he learning he was after learning that the Pandavas had won, as he was now assured that the throne of Hastinapur was in safe hands. In his last day, in, in his last days before he was ascended to heaven. He recited to Yudhishthira the famous hymn to Vishnu, the Vishnu Sahasranama. He also prayed to Lord Krishna, recited the shlokas, as known Bhishma Stuti. Now I'm going to say the Bhishma prayers. Shri Bhishma Vacha Iti Mati Rupaka Pita Vritishna Bhagavati Shatwata Pongave Vivumni Swasuka Mupagate Kwachi Vihartam Rakite Mupe Yusi Yadvava Rabaha Tribhuvana Kamalam Tamala Varnam Ravikara Gauravaram Varam Dadane Bapura Laka Kula Vritana Nabjam Vijaya Sakera Tiras to me Navadia Yuditura Garaja Vidum Raveshwa Kachalulita Shamava Yalang 
ಪೀತಾಸೆ ಮಮ್ಮ ನಿಶಿತ ಸರಿ ವೇವೇದ್ಯಮಿ ವಿಲಸಾತ್ಕವಚೇಸ್ತು ಕೃಷ್ಣಯಾತ್ಮ ಸಪದಿ ಸಖಿ ವಚ ನಿಶಮ್ಯ ನಿಜ ಪರಯೋರ್ಬಲಯೋರತ ಸ್ಥಿತವತಿ ಪರ ಸೈನಿಕಾಯುರಕ್ಷಣ ನಿತವತಿ ಪಾತ ಸಖೇರತಿ ಮಮಸ್ತು ವ್ಯವಹಿತ ಪ್ರೇತನ ಮುಖ ನಿರೀಕ್ಷ ಸ್ವಜನ ವದಾದ್ವಿಮೋಕ್ಷದೋ ಶಬೋದ್ಯ ಕುಮತಿ ಮಹಾರತ್ನ ವೇದ್ಯಯ ಶರಣರತಿ ಪರಮಾತ ಸ್ಯಮೇಸ್ತು ಧ್ವನಿಗಮಪ್ಪ ಮಾತ್ಪ್ರತೆಗ್ನ ವೃತ್ತಮಧಿಕಾರ್ತುಮ್ಲುತ ವೃತ್ತರತರಣ ಭಗ್ಯಾಕ್ಷಲಾಗು ಹರಿರಿವಹಂತು ಮಿ ಭಾಂಗತ ತರೀಯ ಶ್ರಿತ ವಿಶ್ರಿಕ ಋಷಿಣ್ಣಾಂಶಹಜಪರೀಪ್ಲುತಯಾತೋಮೆ ಪ್ರವಶಮಿಷರಮಾದ್ವದಾರ್ಥ ಸವಭಕ್ತು ಮೇ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಗತಿ ಮುಕುಂದ ವ್ಯಜರತಯ ಕುಟುಂಬ ಆತೋತ್ರ ಋತಹಯರಾಸ್ಮಿತಾಕ್ಷಿರೆ ಶನೀಯ ಭಗವತಿರತಿರಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಮುಮೋಷ ಯಮಿಹ ನಿರೀಕ್ಷ ತಾಗತ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಲಲಿತ ಗತಿ ವಿಲಶ ವಾಗುಹಾಶ ಪ್ರಣಯ ನಿರೀಕ್ಷಣಿ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಋಮಾನ ವೃತ್ತಮನು ಕೃತವತ್ಯ ಓನ್ಮದಾನ್ನ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಮಗನ್ ಕಿಲಯಸ್ಯ ಗೋ ಅವಧ್ಯ ಮುನಿಗನ ನಿಪವರ್ಯ ಸಾಕುಲೇತ್ಯ ಸದಶ್ರೀಯುಧೇಷ್ಟಿತಯಾಜಶು ಯಷ ಅಹರ್ಣ ಮುಪೇದ್ಯ ಈಕ್ಷಣೀಯ ಮಮ ದೃಷಿ ಗೋಚರ ಏಷಯ ವಿರಾತ್ಮ ತಮಿಯ ಮಹಮಜ ಶರೀರ ಭಾಜ ಹೃದಿ ಹೃದಿ ದೃಷ್ಟಿತ ಮಾತ್ಮಕ ಪಿತಾನ ಪ್ರದಿ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಮೇವ ನೈಕದಾರ್ಥ ಮೇಕ ಸಮಧಿ ಗತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಬಿಭೂಭೆ ನಮೋಹ ಪಂಚಕಲ್ಪತರೂಪ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಪತೀತ ಪಾವಣೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇವ್ಯ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮಾತಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ thank you shubhadra that was such a simple and nice and wonderful presentation that was so nice shubhadra it was very simple so that all the kids could understand and you very beautifully recited the bhishma stuti very nice very nice thank, thank you for inspiring all of us to chant the bhishma stuti thank you mata ji for giving me the opportunity to no we want you all to present you know this is all we want you know We, it has to be very simple you don't have to do something very you know extraordinary see uh, all of you those of you who have not presented yet see this is, it can be as simple as this okay please remember that we just want you to come forward and speak and you know share with us what you know that is all we are looking for okay thank, thank you shubhadra thank you so thank you mate ji okay so we all have something to share say to shubhadra Okay. Krishna Subhadra, Didi, I like the umbrellas. I like the, the store. I like the, the stories. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Palvet. Vinita Gandurika Mataji and uh, Balavrinda. 
Hare Krishna, Subhadra, what a beautiful presentation. So nice. I really love I the, say. I, I really love the way you presented. Last time I still remember your Gajendra prayers past time. You know, Thank that you shows so much of uh, uh, love for the teacher. You know, you're presenting that topics that you learned in the class, and also you added more details to it. I know the story of Bhishma Dev. You added more story, more uh, little details. You have researched by yourself and you did it so nice. Even Gajendra past time, last time you did, it was so nice. And the prayers that you learned from our class itself, Anjana Gopika Mataji has taught so nicely to all children. And you have presented it. Anjana Mataji will be so proud. Thank you, Mataji. So nice. And I want you to uh, record your prayers. We will put it on the Bhakti Sangha YouTube. Okay, you send it to me. I, I know you already sent me Gopi Gita. You send by Bhishma prayers also completely. Okay, I'll put it on and all children will get inspired. Beautiful, beautiful. Lots of love. Stay blessed like this. Please continue and inspire everyone. Thank you, Ataji. Hare Krishna, Subhadra. Louder. I really like your presentation. Thank you, Balavinda. I really like your presentation, Subhadra. Thank you. Everybody has to be on mute. I will call out each one of your names. Okay? First, we will give I really like your presentation. Thank you, Raghav. Haribol Subhadra. It's a very nice. You recited the, all the slokas of Vishma prayers. And you did very nice history. It's so very easy, just like Madhuri said, you know, it's not very yes, hard. Madhuri. You can just choose one topic of a story like uh, how Subhadra did, and then you can share with us, yes? Thank you, Madhuri. Thank you yes. so much. Now we have Livan. Livan, go ahead. Hare Krishna, Subhadra. I really like your presentation and how you connected it to Bhagavad Gita. Thank you, Levan. Janavi. Hi, Krishna Subhadra. I really like your presentation and I love it. I love how you how you said everything and I really like the story. Thank you, Janavi. Gorangi. Hey, Krishna Subhadra, I like your presentation and I like your story. Thank you, Gaurangi. Tushita? I don't know. I don't see Tushita. Tushita, is she there? Okay. Madha. Hare Krishna Subhadra TV. This is a nice presentation of of Bhishma Patama. Then, then you... Super Jadidi. Thank you, Madhav. Sushita. No, go ahead. Hare Krishna. Subhadra, I really like the presentation because I really like the Krishna prayers. Thank you, Tushita. To Devi. Hare Krishna Subhadra. I really love I liked it, your presentation very much. And I liked uh, all the points that you mentioned. And I like the Bhishma Suti that you recited. And I like all the um all the stories that you narrated and, and everything how you said. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, Sudhavi. Hare Krishna Subhadra, what a wonderful presentation and I loved how you were narrating the stories. Uh, you're reading so beautifully and I really loved your uh, whole Bhishma Stuti, the Bhishma prayers, very, very wonderfully recited. I wanted to ask you, how did you put those slides? Are those slides or is that a document, Subhadra? Just a document and then we changed it to a slide. Ah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, very nicely framed. Each and every page was beautifully framed. 
थैंक यू सो मच सुभद्रा वंडरफुल प्रेजेंट हरे कृष्णा Really like your presentation, Subhadra, and also I found the same stories in the in this book. Thank you, Vinda. Okay, so does anybody else wants to say anything to Subhadra before we go ahead? No. 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 Okay. thank you shubhadra thank you for such a beautiful beautiful presentation and keeping it very simple and easy so that all the kids can understand and they can take inspiration that how they can go ahead and present next time thank you mata hari krishna mata ji yes giridhari hari krishna we miss hare you hari krishna mata ji <laughs> yes i want to say something to my sister okay. i like your presentation and your shlokas and and you did uh, with the with the gajendra stuti no i meant the bishma stuti yeah thank you thank you giridhari thank you for encouraging your sister <laughs> and he's a devotee of of uh, lord uh, ram and and he's and he's a servant of lord ram and lord krishna i know that <laughs> we all know that there's a there's a um the, in the background there's a hanuman ji picture that yes. you always pranam him ah uh, i know oh, and subhadra there is one slot in the, in the govinda class i will send a message to your mom maybe um, giridhari can present in govinda class for the may month there is one slot remaining i will message to your mom okay okay mata ji i'm we mata ji i'm going to i'm going to uh We're going to try to make up a story like, like any kind of story, like the Jagannath story, or like, like how Krishna, like how, like how, like how Krishna left to, like left to go to Mathura. I'm going to. We're going to think about it. Okay, Mataji. Yeah, yeah, very good. We'll be waiting for that. Thank you, Shivadra. Okay, Livan, you raised your hand again. What do you want? Um. Do you have classes in summer vacation? Ah, uh, that is not. We were still discussing about it. We will announce it. Okay, Mataji. Thank you, Liva. <laughs> okay, Mataji, should we do do the shloka and the rhyme, or should we do a story, Mataji? Mataji, if there is time, you can do a story, Mataji. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so. Mataji, it's it is six o'clock. It is six o'clock. That's okay. We'll do a small moral story. Do you want to learn? Hear a small moral story? Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm just looking. Yes, so Mataji. Let's just Wait. do it. Let's just do a teeny tiny moral story today. Okay, but I'm just. Oh, where did that screen go? I cannot see that. Uh, yeah. Can you all see what screen? Can you see? PPT, Mata Ji. Yes, perfect. Yes, Mata Ji. Can you can see. see this PPT. Yes. Okay, so this story is about, you know, a priest who was daydreaming. You know what is daydreaming? Yes, Mata. Dreaming in the day, not in the night. <laughs> yeah, dreaming in the day, not in the night. That's absolutely correct. But what do we actually use that term for? You know that when we are not physically present, but when we are mentally thinking somewhere else. Even though I might be here sitting in the class, but I might be thinking, oh, maybe I have to do this. Maybe I have to do that. Maybe I want to cook this, or maybe I want to eat that. so are we even though we are present here but we are not physically present and then when somebody asks you a question so they we so what was i talking about oh then you realize oh my god i was actually thinking about something else i was not present in the class at all so that is what happened here okay like like not focusing exactly like not focusing you know and you know just making up things in your mind even before they materialize so then what happened there is this priest okay so the story about the priest is like why we should not take a shortcut and why we have to work hard so this priest he was a very very 
lazy person, okay? And then what happened? He would not do anything. He would just dream of being a rich person one day. And he would just go on begging alms, okay? And then what happened one day? He, when he begged for alms, he got a pot of milk. And then he was very happy because then he went home, he boiled the milk and he drank some of it and the remaining, uh, he put it in a pot. And then he had, what did he make? He made curd, you know? So what he did was he made uh, like, you have some little bit leftover curds and when you milk with, mix it with milk, then it becomes curd. And then that's what he did. And then he set it on the, in one corner and then he lay down. And then he was thinking, okay, now that I have bought of this curd, then all my miseries, it will go away. So he started thinking. So then what happens is by morning, this pot of milk would have set, it would have become curd. Then I will churn the curd, make butter. Then from the butter, I will make ghee and I will sell the ghee. I will get money. I'll get the money. I'll buy hen. The hen will lay a lot of eggs. The eggs will hatch and then I will have many chickens. And then these chickens will lay hundreds of eggs. And then I will have a poultry farm. And then... He kept on thinking all these things, you know, how he's going to from a pot of milk, you know, which he had turned to make curd. From that, you know, he ended up having a poultry farm. And then what he would do? Ultimately, he would sell all the hens, his poultry, and he would buy some cows. And then he would open a milk dairy. And then people will start buying milk from him. And then soon he will become rich. And then he will buy jewels. And then when he buys jewels, and then, you know, what will happen? He'll become so rich. And then he will marry a beautiful girl. And he will have a rich family. And then he will have a handsome son. And then if the son does any mischief, what he will do? He will teach him a lesson. So how do you think he's going to teach him a lesson? How do you think he's going to teach him a lesson? Bad, he's going to beat and get the, the, the cheaper stick, stick and beat him. I know, but what was he actually doing? He was day, daydreaming. So what did he do? Instead of, instead of beating his son, what did he beat with the stick? The pot. The pot. Saved his own life. He beat the pot with the stick. And then what do you think happened when he beat the pot with the stick? It broke and all the milk was gone. I know. So it broke and all the milk was gone. And then what was he left with? Nothing. Nothing. See? Nothing. He was not ready to work hard. He was just daydreaming. He was being lazy. So what do you learn from this? What do you learn? Work hard. Work hard. Daydreaming does not give you anything, isn't it? Yes. Masuji, yeah. This is kind of like the video of um Goranga Prabhu's yoga story. I know. We have many such stories. You know, they are all similar to teach you like how hard work is very important. You know, just thinking about it and dreaming about it does not, you know, give results. We have to endeavor. And then we need to have Krishna's mercy also. Those two things are very important in our life if we want to achieve something. Yes? Does everybody agree with me? Yes? Yes, Mataji. Okay. So now this is a short moral story for today because then we want to do the shloka and rhyme so that all of you can take turns. Okay? So now we will do the shloka and the rhyme. Let me stop. Okay. Okay. Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Ah, I cannot. I, I don't see the screen for. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Now I will share the shloka. Okay. 
Mataji, can you see the screen? Yes, yes, Mataji, perfect. Yes. Hari Bol, Hari Krishna, everyone. It's a very nice history, yes? Yeah, you can share your uh, moral views. Yes, Mataji. Hari Krishna, Mataji, this is for a bit. Okay. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Sa Eva Ham Mayat. Sa Eva Ham. Maya Tedia Maya Tedia Saiba Maya Tedia Saiba Maya Tedia Everyone, okay? Saiba Maya Tedia Yoga Prokta Puratana Yoga Prakta Puratana Yoga Yoga Prokta Puratana Yoga Prokta Puratana Bakto si me sakha cheti. 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 Everyone, okay? Everyone repeat. Rahasyam heta duttamam. Rahasyam heta duttamam. Rahasyam 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 I'm hearing only Sudev's voice, okay? I'm not hearing anybody's voice. Okay, I want to hear everyone's voice. Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. Sa Eva Hamaya Tadya. Sa Eva Hamaya Tadya. Sa Eva Hamaya Tadya. Sa Eva Hamaya Tadya. Yoga Prokta Puratana Yoga Prokta Puratana Bhakto Si Me Sakha Cheti Bhakto Si Me Sakha Cheti Cheti Rahasyam Hetad Uttamam Rahasyam Hetad Uttamam Sri, uh, last time, okay. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Sa Eva Yamaya Tadya. Sa Eva Yamaya Tadya. Yoga Prokta Puratana. Yoga Prokta Puratana. Bhakto si me sakha se di. Bhakto si me sakha se di. Rahasya me tad uttamam. Rahasya me tad uttamam. Rahasya me tad uttamam. Okay, you can read the translation. Mataji explained yesterday very nicely. You whoever can the personality read of God had said that that, that very ancient science of the relationship with the Supreme is today told by me to you because you are my devotee as well as my friend and therefore understand the transcendental mystery of the science. Okay, everyone we go to the rhyme and then we go to the break room, okay? Uh, we are uh, we are jolly uh, we are jolly good fellows we are jolly good, jolly good fellows
We are jolly good fellows. 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 We are jolly we serve him all day. Remembering all the way. Without Krishna, we would never have a happy day. Without Krishna, we would never have a happy day. Yeah, so we can practice. You can practice the rhyme in also in the break room. Mataji will say, take us in the break room. Okay? Thank you. I'm leaving the call.